This is an example of a hypothesis test of two means when the two samples are not related. And we are going to look at question six on the Avery case study, a question about the number of sporting good items purchased in the previous year. And the hypothesis we're going to look at is related to whether men and women have answered this question differently. The first thing that we are going to have to do in this case is sort the data so that all the men are in one place and all the women are in another. So we are going to select all the data and then on the data tab we're going to go to sort. Make sure that my data has headers is clicked because we do have the headers, the question labels. Uh, we want to sort by um, question 27 was the question on gender, and we'll click OK. So what that ha has done, if we look over in gender, now all of the um, men are first followed by all of the women, so they're ordered. Uh, the men are up to column 60, or row 66. Alright, so to perform the test we are going to click Data Analysis, and then t-test to sample assuming unequal variances. Um, there is another test here assuming equal variances, but there'd hardly ever be any circumstances where we would know that the variances between the two groups are equal. There's no reason to assume they're equal, so we'll just assume they're unequal. Uh, we click OK for there. Variable 1 range, it is on question 6 just the men. So we want to click on the first response and go through the 66th response, which is where the men stopped. And then variable 2 range would be in question 6, uh, 67 through the end. We are hypothesizing that the mean difference is 0. We want to know if the male and female response was the same. Um, we do not have labels in this case. I did not select the labels as I was dragging across the data. So we will just click OK here. And what this information will tell us is that first of all the uh, average response for men was 4.2 where for women it was 1.7. We do need to look at the p-value to make sure that's a statistically significant difference and uh, that value here, 1.28 times 10 to the minus 30th power. That's what the E stands for there. That is a very, very small number. It is much less than 0.05. So we can reject the hypothesis that the male and female response is the same in favor of all our alternative, which is that the responses are different.